Hello and welcome back to A Shot of Wildlife. In today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the Rook. If you've ever seen a group of large black birds nesting close together near to farmland, the chances are high that you've been looking at Rooks. These are members of the Crow family and their communal nesting sites are known as Rookeries. Rooks have wingspans of around 90 centimetres and weigh from 280 to 340 grams. Their feathers appear black from a distance, but if you get a closer look, they have an iridescent sheen. Rooks look quite similar to their cousins, carrion crows, and are most easily separated from them as carrion crows have feathers running down the top of their black beaks, whilst adult rooks have paler, featherless beaks with a patch of bare skin at their bases. Rooks are communal birds that nest, feed and roost in large flocks throughout the year. Sometimes there can be several hundred birds in one patch of trees. They're omnivores and they use their featherless beaks to probe into mud for worms, beetles and other invertebrates. They would also occasionally eat carrion, eggs, grains and seeds, and they'll sometimes scavenge for scraps. They rely on large trees for nesting and roosting, and their main habitat is around agricultural areas, in farmland and grassland, although they can also be seen in urban places, such as graveyards and large parks. Rooks form long-lasting pair bonds, and often remain monogamous for life. Each pair will start to build their nest early in the year, usually during February and March, but sometimes as early as January. These are high in the branches of large trees and can be just a metre or so away from other nests. Living so closely together does mean that the twigs that they use for nest building are in high demand, and they are known to steal twigs from each other's nests. To prevent this, the female usually guards the nest site whilst the male collects twigs and mud to bind the nest together with. Once the nest is complete, it's lined with wool, moss, leaves and sometimes even hair before the female lays between three and five pale greeny blue eggs with brown patches. They measure about four centimetres long and shall incubate these alone for 15 to 16 days before they hatch. Both parents feed the chicks in the nest for 32 to 34 days when they are ready to fledge. After this, the young birds are fed by their parents for many more weeks until they are able to look after themselves. Some will then disperse to other rookeries, while some will stay in the same area where they were raised into the autumn. Young rooks look very similar to adults, but their bills are black, have feathers running along their tops, and they lack the featherless patch at their bill's base. Each pair of rooks will only nest once per year, but will maintain a close bond with their partner outside of the nesting season, feeding and roosting together. Amazingly, some rookeries can last a very long time. There are several in the UK that have been in the same place for more than a hundred years. Just like other members of the crow family, rooks are really intelligent. They understand how to use basic tools almost to the same level as a chimpanzee, and in one experiment, a rook quickly learnt that adding rocks to water would raise the water level and make floating food that was previously out of reach available. There are currently around 980,000 pairs of rooks in the UK, but this represents a decline of about 20% over the past 25 years. Outside of the UK, they are found across mainland Europe, into southern Russia and as far east as northern China. They have also been introduced to New Zealand, where they are treated as a pest and there are ongoing efforts to eradicate them. In some of their northern ranges, they sometimes move south in cold winters, but over most of their range, they are resident all year round. The oldest rook ever recorded lived for 22 years 
at 11 months exactly, but they have an average lifespan of about 6 years. Here is one of the rook's calls. And there we go, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, then why not check out this one on the screen now with things you need to know about the carrion crow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.